Getting rid of paper-based journey logs or flight discrepancy logs is absolutely essential. There's simply too much risk associated with human error or the delay in getting information back from each flight. At the same time, pilots are used to using the same forms they've always been using. So how do you overcome this? Hi, I'm Brandon Hull with Fluix. And in this short video, I'll show you how you can combine Fluix with your favorite online database platform for an easy to implement, real-time digitization and automation platform to capture data from each flight. Fluix can help you digitize your existing journey and flight logs, turning them into interactive PDFs so your pilots see what they're used to seeing. They would simply fill in those PDFs on their iPads. There's a lot more you can do with Fluix, but that's what I'm gonna focus on today. For this video, I'll be showing you how to connect Fluix to Airtable, which is a tremendous online database platform. But you could do the same thing with Fluix and Ctable, which is a similar platform to Airtable, but hosted on German servers, or Fluix and Notion, or Fluix and any other online database platform. So let's get started. This is what your pilot would see using Fluix on their iPad in the cockpit. You'll see the folder templates is highlighted. All your pilot needs to do is tap on where your journey logs or flight logs are located, open up that document and begin filling it in. Now I'm using a sample form in this case. Yours would likely be much more complex than this, but you'll notice that this form and Fluix supports all sorts of field types, drop downs, date fields, you name it. You can, your pilot can tap on a field and select information very quickly using their fingertip or an Apple Pencil. Those fields can be pre-formatted in order to restrict data entry to conform with your exact ways of collecting data from the pilot. Now I'm gonna speed up the process of me filling in this form so I can show you what happens afterwards. All right, the pilot now has now submitted their flight journey log. And you'll notice that by submitting it, that means that I have now reassigned this flight log to flight operations. The flight operations team will receive a real time notification via email and within the Fluix app that they now have a new flight document to take action on. The finished flight log also resides in the pilot's completed section of their Fluix app on the iPad and they would simply start again with their next series of flights. Again, your form might be more complete and include multiple flights with one flight log. That's possible and that's supported within Fluix as well. All right, let's move on to what the experience is like now for the flight operations team. All right, now I'm logged into Fluix as a flight operations team member. I'll go to our group inbox where I can see there have been new journey logs that have been submitted. I'm gonna open up the one that's just been completed here that you saw just moments ago. And now I can see all of the data that's been compiled by that pilot. There's the signature, all of their notes. I'm gonna assign this journey log to me. It looks completely accurate. I will not make any changes to it. If there were any comments that the pilot had added along with that note, I would see those here. There are not any in this case. Well, it looks like it's good to go. So I'm gonna choose submit. And instead of sending it back to the pilot, since there are no errors, I'm simply gonna complete. All right, this journey log has been completed. There were only two steps to this process, the pilot filling in the form and me as the flight operations person completing the form. But I'm gonna go behind the scenes now and show you what actually happened when that flight operations team member completed the process. All right, now here's a peek behind the scenes of what just happened with that workflow. I gave access to all pilots to that journey log template, which resides in a folder stored in Fluix storage. They pulled it from their templates, they filled it in, and as you remember, they reassigned it to FlightOps. FlightOps took that document from the group inbox 
And after reviewing it, they were given two options, complete the process or send the item back to a specific pilot. Here's where Fluix gets really interesting. Upon completing that journey log, the flight ops team actually initiated three steps to happen at the same time. An archived copy was sent to a separate folder within their storage account. All of the data was extracted from all of the individual fields in that form. And lastly, all of the data was additionally copied over to Airtable, as I mentioned at the beginning of this video. So with one tap, the flight operations team actually accomplished all three of these tasks at the, th at the same time. All right, now here's where it gets exciting. What you're now seeing is my sample Airtable database that has received that flight I just submitted when flight ops finished the process. And I'm gonna kind of give you a bird's eye view of what you're seeing here. Each flight record sheet that is submitted by flight ops or approved by flight ops is a new record in this table within Airtable. So you've got the flight record number, which is automatically generated, the aircraft, which was indicated on the form, and all of this data that was indicated in the form. And I didn't fill in every single field, but you'll see that I've got all of the data captured on this field here. What's great about this is, and what's great about Airtable, is that I can now summarize this data at a quick glance in any number of ways. Over on the left-hand side, I have a variety of different views. I can group this information by aircraft number, I can group it and filter out certain fields so I only see things like the scheduled number of hours, the actual flight hours, the amount of fuel burned, uh, the total amount of fuel burned, and so forth. I can group the information by pilot, by pilot showing hours, by flight dates, by departure location, arrival location. I think you get the point here. I can summarize the information in any number of ways. And I can not only capture the data and place it in this database, Airtable can automatically crunch the numbers for me, can calculate the data for me. That's how I'm able to see things like the total number of hours per aircraft for that day, for all time, for all flights, all of that information. This is the power of, of Airtable with Fluix. Now, how does the data get from Fluix into Airtable? That's through Airtable's automations feature. I have a wonderful workflow set up in Fluix to manage the approval process. And then I have an automation also set up, but this time in Airtable, to receive the form from Fluix. This is only needs to be set up one time. A webhook is received. This is the webhook that I placed within Fluix to capture all of that data from the form. And anytime this webhook has data passed to it, it will create a new record in the flight logs table right here within Airtable. Now, in my case, I actually have one other automation set up. I have an automation to, uh, to send a, an email as well. Fluix can send emails, notification emails, but what makes Airtable interesting is that I can choose select data when a new record is created. I can now take only some of that data and send an email to a recipient to capture some of that, uh, to share some of that information in the body of an email. So now I have a summary piece of information that's going to certain recipients once a new log has been submitted. And all of this is automated. From Fluix to Airtable to the recipients, both via Fluix and via Airtable. So I have a complete system now for grabbing data at the pilot level, summarizing it within Airtable, and if you want to go one step further and get data from your Fluix form to your aircraft software, your aviation software, as long as it provides a, its own API, you can actually send information directly from Fluix to your software with another step in this workflow process within Fluix. So in short, you have a complete system for easily capturing the data at the pilot level right there in the cockpit, allowing them to transmit it in real time the moment they land and their device is back on Wi-Fi or on a cellular signal and sending that information over to an Airtable database. Now again, Airtable is great because it provides its own web hooks that allow you to pull information into it. But you can use something like Ctable, you can use something like Notion, which also provide APIs to pull data in from third-party sources. What's amazing about this when it's all said and done 
is that we already have the system set up within Fluix to make this process easy here and to duplicate or adapt the process here within Airtable to provide you with a solution that could be implemented within two hours. The only thing that you need to, to work with us to do is to edit your, uh, either create or edit your existing journey log to turn it into an interactive and uh, restrictive PDF so that it gets exactly the information from your pilots that you need without any error. Now more than ever, it's important to digitize as many processes as you can, adding automated workflows in between the steps so that you can streamline your operations. This will make you more profitable, this will ensure planes are in the air more, and this will ensure that your pilot's workload is much easier than it can be with paper. So digitizing your processes can be as simple as about two hours worth of setup work using Fluix and Airtable or Fluix and another solution. We've tested several of them and this works fantastic with a lot of different online database platforms. So if you'd like to learn more, check out a trial account with Fluix, talk to one of our representatives of our team and we'll help you get up, set up and running with using Fluix and a sample scenario like Airtable or Ctable. Thanks for watching.